Hello, JC Santana coming to you from the Institute of Human Performance. Wishing all of our friends and fans a great 2020. It's going to be an awesome, awesome year. We're here to talk about <clears throat> supersetting. And uh, people wanted to know what I thought about ag agonist, antagonist superset, or let's say superset breakdown sets of a, a bench and a flies. In other words, alternate agonist, antagonist, or grouped in same muscle exercises. For example, a bench press and a fly, or squat and knee extension, something like that, right? So the question is, which one is better? Again, better for what? <clears throat> that superset where you're doing like a breakdown set, uh, you're doing bicep curls and you're going from a reverse curls to a hammer curl to a cable curl, uh, or even breakdown sets where you're just doing a curl with 100, break down 10 pounds, do some more reps, break down 10 pounds, do some more reps until you can't even do the bar. Those types of supersets where you're hitting the same muscle group do a lot of damage. They give you a good pump, and so you got to think, it'll volumize a specific muscle, and there may be benefits for that. But if you do that, I'm telling you right now, you do four or five sets of supersets for the same muscle group, whether it be anterior deltoid or um, a bicep for the, all that matter, and you're going to need days. You're going to need, I don't know, five, six, seven days to recover because we've done those studies and we see the waste products and the, and the, and the inflammation responses, and they're still there. I mean, five days after, they're still there. So is that what you want to do? Because remember, you're going to use that bicep also in the pull-ups. You're going to use that bicep also in 20 other. You're going to use it on the bench press when you come back here and you're eccentrically loading. That's where you have, that's why you have tendonitis in your bicep when you're doing bench presses because you're doing biceps. So if you tear down the biceps on that arm day or on that back and arm and bicep day, what happens to the rest of the time that you're needing the biceps to, to recover? Uh, while you're needing them to recover and you're using them for other exercises. What if they bail on you and they're supporting structures in other exercises? Now you can create injuries because they're too, they're too fatigued. So from that perspective, I like one superset, but I don't like it as a mode of training the same muscle group. So I don't like two or three exercises for the same muscle group back to back. Yeah, you get a pump. Yeah, you get torn up. And maybe... It'll create hypertrophy. How much more? I don't think much more. Uh, but what is the muscle damage? How long are you there for? And then what if you what if you're working out and uh, with uh, you're working out your biceps and you're playing say football, and you're a lineman or you're a linebacker and you gotta open up and clobber somebody, you're gonna get a huge eccentric load on your bicep. Now we have a possibility of a bicep tear because three days ago you tore it up to the point where you can't even use it on foot in in your football. Uh, practice, right? So think about that. Now, there's another type of supersetting, which is agonist antagonist, the front and the back or opposing muscle groups. That one is, in my opinion, a lot better. So if you need to be efficient, okay, that's a great way to be efficient. Um, do your chest and your back, do your bicep and triceps. Man, that will volumize the entire local area. And sometimes that volumization, we suspect kicks in some anabolic procedures or anabolic processes because of just the stretching of the muscle membrane. We think that uh, there's some receptors on that, on that membrane that respond to stretching, which uh, we think that it may be one of the mechanisms of how creatine works because it, it volumizes muscle. So that agonist antagonist really, really volumizes that whole area. You, you become very efficient. You use more volume because we know that from, from studies. You can use more volume because your muscles are getting rest, yet you're pumping to the general area, upper body or arm or, or leg, and it's a very efficient way of training, and it's not as damaging. You get rest, bench press, lat pull down, bench press, lat pull down. That bench press, you get a little break during that pull down, then you get a, 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 a one break, let's say a minute or two between each superset or two minutes, whatever you decide. And, and that alone allows you to use more load in each bench press and in each lat pull down. So you get more volume of work with agonist antagonist. And that's why I think it's a more uh, wise way of training it's a more efficient way of training, and I think it's a safer way of training. Uh, as I did in, in my previous uh, blog, we talked about 
okay guys how much strength is enough I understand that you're looking for time efficiency because we live in a world uh, you know of tight schedules and that's great agonist antagonist will save you plenty of time um, if you gotta if you know if you're gonna do one set or two sets and that's all you have time for if you want to do a super set you know the same body part okay but even one or two sets can do a, a significant significant amount of damage and then and then for what for what so I would be very cautious and I would start looking at lifting a little bit different you got to think of being strong enough and we haven't even defined what that is uh, how come some great athletes are not that strong in the gym and they whoop the pants out of everybody on the court on the field and or in the ring so that strength that we're developing in the gym has to be looked at differently guys we've been we've been in the no pain no gain for too many years and we are replacing hips knees and shoulders at an accelerated rate and I don't think it's because of the sport I think it's because of the training so when you look at hypertrophy training and strength training just ask yourself what am I doing this for what price am I paying at 60 I've got two artificial hips and I've, I've soared with the eagles and now I'm crawling with the crabs because I soared with the eagles when I wasn't built to fly all right I did my share of Olympic weightlifting competed at the national level at the state level at 40 guys at 40 at 46 I was still competing in judo at the national level so it's not exactly like I didn't do the do I did the do and I don't want you guys to do the do because sometimes the do lands you in do do so get your agonist antagonist efficient way of training you can do more volume of work you're stronger for each set and you don't do that damage let's stay away from the damage and always think how big is enough and how strong is enough for the final activity the gym is not the final destination the gym prepares you for that so let's keep that in mind happy 2020 love you guys